Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas, Trivial Pursuit. I figured I would take a peek at this before I do the live stream. So I need to open the pack of cards. This is where long nails come in handy. And I just want to take a peek and share this so that if you're planning to join me for the Trivial Pursuit live stream on Friday, October the 20th, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I believe that works out to 7 p.m. British time. We have the rules. Remove the packaging from the cards. Discard or recycle the waste. Kind of funny because you had to remove the packaging to get there. Place the cards upright in the tray with the question side facing forward. Now we have a special dice to choose the category and since it's going to be a live stream you'll get to watch me rolling this and I'm glad I took a look at that so I'll have to find a location to do the live where I can roll the dice and our categories are trick or treat, behind the scenes, Halloween Town, Christmas Town, Songs, and Pumpkin King. Just to give you a heads up on what the different subjects are. I'll be re-watching The Nightmare Before Christmas a few days before the live stream to try and keep everything fresh in my mind. And now it's been handy to take a look at what the different subjects are for this trivia game. And there are quite a few questions. I actually found this during one of my Indigo trips. This is the collector's edition and there are over 400 questions. So just a few examples of what we may have. Which frequent Whose Line Is It Anyway player voiced Halloween Town residents, the Harlequin Demon, devil and saxophone player. I don't know. I did watch Whose Line Is It Anyway. Oh, there we go. Greg Props. Gre Greg Proops? Props? Okay. Just looking quickly at these, it's going to be a bit of a challenge. What is Jack wearing while he sits in bed reading books about Christmas? Okay, I'm definitely going to have to pay attention as I'm re-watching Jack. What's the first thing Jack says when he surprises Oogie Boogie? This will definitely be more detailed than I thought. Let me know in the comments down below. Did you play the original Trivial Pursuit games? My husband and I really enjoyed them and it's actually been a while since we've pulled the game out. Trivial Pursuit was a great way to learn different things, whether it was about science or literature, the different subjects they had, and just imagine how different that game would be now with all the different advancements that have been made in terms of science and astronomy and so many other fields. Hmm, makes me think there may be a subject area that could have a trivial pursuit game. If you enjoy The Nightmare Before Christmas, let me know in the comments down below. It's definitely one of my favorite movies. I enjoy the animation. The music is outstanding. I've also enjoyed Tim Burton's Corpse Bride. I just rewatched that a few weeks ago. And like Jack, there's so much to these movies. They aren't just cartoons. To me, Jack is a character and an inspiration about being comfortable who you are and being okay with that. If you've seen the movie, then you know Jack is struggling with who he is and what he's known for. And he tries to be something that he isn't and realizes he's enough. It's great to be who he is and to stay true to himself. I believe that is very important for all of us to remember. I can think of times in my own life when I've tried to fit in and do things different. That just wasn't me. I wasn't comfortable. So now I am who I am and I appreciate the people who have stuck by me through that 
and are still there to support me. Until next time, I hope to see you at the live stream as we go through all these different questions about Jack and learn even more about the movie. Until next time, have a great one. Thank you.